Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As mentioned in a previous lesson, Word automatically creates new rows at the bottom of a table when you press the tab key on your keyboard if your insertion mark cursor is in the lower right corner table cell. However, you may also need to alter the table structure to add columns or rows in other places within the table or remove columns and rows previously created. When deleting rows from tables that store data, you should remove the entire row and not simply clear the contents of the cells within that row. Leaving a blank row in the middle of a structured data table can lead to issues with sorting and counting the rows. To delete columns or rows in a table in Word, first select the columns or rows to delete. Then click the Delete drop-down button in the Rows and Columns button group on the table's Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the drop-down menu that appears, then select either the Delete Columns or the Delete Rows command to delete the selected columns or the selected rows. To add a column or row to a table in Word, Click into a cell within a column or row adjacent to the location where you want to insert the new column or row. Then click one of the buttons that appears in the Rows and Columns button group on the table's Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon to insert either a column or row into the location indicated by the button's name. Insert above, insert below, insert left, or insert right. To insert multiple columns or rows, then first, select the number of adjacent columns or rows to insert before clicking one of these buttons. For example, if you select three adjacent columns, and then click the Insert Left button, you then insert three columns to the left of the selected columns. Alternatively, to add a new column or row in Word, Hold your mouse pointer on the outside edge of the table between any two columns or rows where you want to insert a new column or row until they appear slightly separated and a small plus sign appears between them. Then click the plus sign to add a new column or row into that location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.